Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, I guess for this video, I'm just gonna do a uh, what are, what are these videos called again when you're like following me throughout the day? I forgot what they're called, but that's the video that we're doing today. It's raining, so hopefully you can hear me good. So I'm on my way right now to an interview. Well, it's actually not an interview. I just went earlier and I was like, hey, I need a job. Could I drop off my resume? And he was like, oh, come back at five. The hiring manager will be here. So I'm taking that as like it's an interview. So I mean, which is good because it's a serving job and I've been wanting a serving job for a while because of the tips because that's really where the real money is at. And I went to work this morning and it's really what inspired all of this. Like right once I got out of work, I went straight to the library to print my resumes because I was like, yeah, fuck this fucking place. The fucking girls I work with, oh my god. Like, they're just so fucking bitchy. And I give people benefit of the doubt. I really do. I really truly do. And I'm also very, like, I can be reserved and I can also be outgoing. I'm very much both. But usually with more outgoing people, I go more inward. And then with more shy people, I come more outward because I don't know that I guess that's just how it works for me whoops so yeah I was at work and this is only like my second week and so I really have been like my first day it was cool it was fine whatever my second day horrible horrible like these girls are just so fucking bitchy like they just remind me of the girls that I went to high school with like the little fucking popular girls in high school like the passive aggressiveness and the fucking ugh. And so today it was just, I just can't. Like I just can't. And I, this is already my second weekend. Second weekend and it's already this fucking bad. Like I'm good, bro. I'm fucking good. I'm not going to deal with that shit. And so I just was like, yeah, fuck this. And I went straight to the library and I print my resumes and I stopped at like a couple restaurants. And so, yeah, now I'm, I'm on my way to do this. I'm a job hopper, but only because, like, I don't want to be, like, I used to be a manager at one of my longest jobs, and it was at a dog daycare, and I seriously love that job so much, like, so, so much, but my managers were horrible, and the owners were even more horrible, and so I just, I had to leave, and I wasn't even, like, making that good money there either, but it just sucks, like, ever since that job, it's been really hard for me to keep a job because I'm just, I'm just so unhappy. And I just, I'm just not the type of person, which unfortunately so. I mean, I, I wish I was the type of person to just like fucking suck it up and do it. How people do that every day is beyond me. Like you're so strong and I give you so much props because I wish I can be like that, but I'm just not. Like my brain cannot logically understand if I'm gonna be at this place for so many hours of my life I at least have to not be miserable like I'm not even expecting to like love it and love everyone there and like have the best time like I'm not unrealistic like that but I at least just don't want to be miserable and I don't think that that's too much to ask for so yeah I'm still I'm still trying to find it and hopefully you know this job isn't horrible I think it will be I don't know I think it'll be good for me I've never been a server before but I'm really good with people and like customer service and so I know I would do a really good job um, and I mean obviously you're you're not your own boss but you are your own server I guess and you run your tables the way that you want to run them which is what I like because I oh my god I hate it when people tell me what to do I hate it and I know you're probably thinking like damn this bitch is just lazy and she doesn't want to listen to anyone but it's really not like that I'm not unreasonable and I'm a really good like I'm a very I would say I'm a very chill laid back easy to get along with person if you give me respect and sue me then I don't think that everyone should just fucking deserve to have their fucking feet kiss even when they're disrespectful as fuck to you i don't care if i work for you like at the end of the day bro i don't like 
at the end of the day, I'm not gonna kiss anyone's ass just for a fucking job. Like, I have, no, I have self-respect. I have too much self-respect for myself to do that. So, no, I, I'm not gonna do that. And I've already had my fair share of experiences with bitchy ass fucking people. And so I'm just like, literally just leave me alone. Like, I will take direction. I will do things the way that they need to be done. I will follow protocol. I will be amazing at my job, but just don't overdo it, you know? Don't just be bitchy and, like, expect me to fucking kiss your ass. And that's what these bitches at my job fucking expect. And I hate, I hate the fucking passive-aggressive bullshit of, like, do you mind? Do you mind? And then they'll say to do something. I'm like, bitch, just tell me to do it. Just tell me to do it. That's what you're doing. I hate the, oh, do you mind washing the dishes? You're not asking me. You're not really asking me. You're telling me to do it. So just tell me to fucking do it. Don't just, oh, do you mind? I hate that shit. I fucking hate that shit. And today, like, I literally had three minutes left on my shift. I had three minutes left on my fucking shift, okay? And I'm currently making a drink. And the fucking, she's not even my manager. Just this fucking bitch who I work with. She had been bossing me around all fucking day. I got in trouble because of her dumbass, and she was right next to me, and she stayed real quiet. She stayed real quiet while I got reprimanded by our manager, by our owner, even though it was her fucking fault, but I didn't say shit. And so it was three minutes left. She comes back from her 30-minute fucking break. And keep in mind, we had been busy all fucking day. And so the dishes weren't done because no one had time to do the dishes. I was working all day. Oh, and also keep in mind that anytime I was on register, she would, Oh, can you move to food? Can you move to food? Because she didn't want to do fucking food because no one wants to do that shit. And I did it every time. Every time. So I took this bitch's shit all fucking day. And so I had three minutes left on my shift. And she was like, Ugh does one of you guys mind um washing the dishes i know you only have like a couple minutes but like it would just really help and it was me and this other girl that were both getting off at the same time i literally didn't even look at her i literally didn't even look up when she started speaking i did not look up at all i was making a drink i was gonna finish making my drink and then i was gonna fucking dip Because by the time I'm done making the drink, bitch, there's already going to be, like, what, a minute left of my shift? By the time I fucking even walk over to the sink, my shift is going to be over. What the fuck do you mean? Can I I wash the dishes? No, bitch, that's your job. Do your job. I had been doing her job all fucking day and the jobs that she didn't want to do. So I literally didn't even look at her. (laughs) And she comes up to the front all fucking pissed. Like, so pissed. And... Um, she's like making the drink and I'm I'm like still I'm like helping her because again I'm just so nice so I'm helping her with the last couple drinks and she's like you're off no and I was like yeah but do you want me to help you out and just finish these off for you no I'm good that's how she said it and I was like okay (laughs) and so I just clock out I didn't even say bye to her when I left because I'm like bitch I just can't I can't with girls like that I cannot with girls like that this is not high school anymore baby this is not high school And if you keep on trying to recreate it, I'm a dip. I just find it stupid because I'm like, you know that this is a job, right? Like, these people aren't your friends. They're your co-workers. And so this little fucking mean girl trope that you're trying to do with, like, excluding me from the conversations all the time with your little little buddies at work. Like, do you think you're cool? Because you're not. You're not. This is just a job, bro. This is just a job. I guarantee you, you're not going to talk to these girls that you're so buddy-buddy with within two years. And even then, it's like, you guys need help. You literally need help. The less, the less people you have on your team, guess what? The more responsibilities you have. The more responsibilities that you don't want to do, have to do. So can we cut the fucking attitude? Because guess what? Now you lost another one. Now you lost another one. Now I'm on my way to a fucking better job, bitch, because you can go fuck yourself. And I was talking to one of the other girls today, and she literally told me the same thing. Um, Like, the same exact thing. Like, she brought up the whole high school thing, and I was like, oh my god, okay, so I'm not crazy. Because sometimes I really be fucking gaslighting myself, and I'm like, am I too sensitive? Like, is this in my mind? Because I genuinely feel like... Like, girls are really just mean to me sometimes, and I never understand why. 
I really don't ever understand why because I am I'm truly not I'm a truly genuinely like just nice person I guess like I'm not overly nice but like I'm just normal you know like I, I'm never going out of my way to like make someone feel stupid because I know how bad that fucking feels like I hate feeling stupid and I just like I'm the type of person where I can tell when a person is being left out in conversation and I'm the type of person to be like oh you were saying like that's the type of person that I am and I just feel like I just feel like when you're really genuine like when you're an actual genuine person you're almost like a repellent like you're almost like oil and water with fake people well, I don't know why I did that it, they are fake because it, it's just so it's just so never gonna get along because I will never I will never be fake like you and you are just not genuine like me like I don't know why you fucking care so much about being mean like it, it's weird it's really weird like you don't even know me you don't know what I'm going through like it's really fucking weird so yeah I don't know it's really weird but I got complimented today by the sweetest old man oh he was so sweet it was so nice I love getting complimented I never ever get complimented like ever and I I really I, I never used to think about it like it never even would cross my mind um, not until lately actually it truly would like seriously never ever cross my mind because um, I, I don't know like I would say I'm pretty confident in myself like I I'm, I'm sure of myself like I don't need compliments um, but I don't, yeah I don't know why just lately I I've really been realizing that like I genuinely never get complimented and it's I don't know I don't know why it's like weird to me now I think it's just because I'm I'm aware of it now so when he complimented me today the old man I was just like oh thank you <laughs> I love it when people are nice to me and like other people I know <laughs> I'm sorry if it's super dark. Um, it's like super rainy today. But yeah, so I'm almost there and I have to pee really fucking bad. So I'm probably gonna stop somewhere before I go. Um, Cause I don't wanna be fucking holding my pee in while I'm trying to win these people over. So I will talk to you guys once I get out of the interview. Well, that was a big fucking waste of time. She told me it was all going good. And then she was like, oh, and then our policy is that we don't, like, you know, we just want to look very clean, like, just as clean as possible, like, nothing distracting. So you think you'd be able to just take out your piercing? And I was like, oh, no. And she was like, but why? And I was like, because it's a cultural thing, like, which, okay. It is. It is. Okay. Before you guys get on me, I am Aztec and it is a cultural thing. It is a part of the Aztec culture. The women would wear a piercing right here, obviously much bigger, um, so that they could make themselves go cross-eyed because the Aztec thought that it was like beautiful. And so that's why it means so much to me. But I also just really love it. And I had my eyebrow pierced too, but I took that out because it wouldn't heal. Um, but no, because I don't want to work somewhere that is so fucking conservative and traditional like that it's such ugh. it's so icky to me because i'm literally like it's 2024 bro okay and she literally was just like um oh, are you sure like you can't just take it out and i was like no i'm i'm not gonna do that just for a job and she was like oh well okay but i mean if you ever do end up taking it out one day like definitely come back we would love to have you and i was like okay so great, great, Ugh, so stupid, but whatever, it's okay, it's okay, we're not losing faith, I still have one more place that I was gonna try, so hopefully they're not fucking weirdly conservative too, and yeah, I don't know, wish me luck. Oh my god, I'm literally drenched in fucking water right now, it is raining so much. Do you see? It is raining so much. And there is no fucking parking because apparently, apparently Wednesday nights are the new Friday nights because this bitch was fucking packed. 
packed with everyone's mamas and papas and siblings and god damn i had to park literally on an off-road the road finished it's not even road anymore that's where i had to park because there's no parking because it's so jam-packed and i'm just walking up with my little resume with my little soggy resume because of the fucking rain and i'm just like hey to the girl at the front and i'm like i know this is super bad timing but i just wanted to drop this off really quick to see if you might be hiring for servers Whew, i'm out of breath so yeah, hopefully they call me and hopefully she remembers that i said server because if they call me they're like oh yeah host no 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 fucking host no dice no dice uh so yeah i mean that's like i ran out of resumes today and of energy and it's raining um i'm tired i'm gonna go home now okay so i'll see you when i get home my arm is tired oh my god okay well i'm back home and i'm feeling sad i'm feeling discouraged i um i don't know i just god i really want to quit my job like i really really want to quit my job but i can't until i find a new one so i'm just gonna wait i'm just gonna wait I'm just gonna do the responsible thing and wait until I guess I find one. So, yeah, I'm just gonna make dinner now. Oh, I was, I was so close to getting fast food, but I'm like, don't do it, bitch. Don't do it. You're gonna regret it. So I didn't. So here we are, and I have no idea what I'm gonna eat. So I think I'm just gonna eat an esquite and quesadilla, cause you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. If you don't know what a skid, that means it's um it's like the corn mixed with mayo and cheese and all that. Super yummy. So yeah, I'm just gonna eat that and I think I might just end it here. I'm just feeling discouraged as fuck. Yeah. Thank you for following me around today and hearing me rant about my life yet yeah, once again. So <laughs> Alright, have a good night, day, whatever. I'll see you for the next one.